Hello everyone, welcome to JS Gigs and my name is Deepak. Here in this tutorial, we are going to be setting up our project. The project and the tutorial that we have taken up is NGRX or the state management. In this episode, we are going to be setting up a project with Angular Material and also going to be installing the NGRX. So let's get right into it. So let me quickly take you to my terminal. So let me just quickly write it down. So in, uh, please note that I have Angular installed already with me. So that's why I just need to write down these ng commands and all of that stuff. In case if you don't have it, I would request you to go to the browser and download the Angular and install things by yourself. First of all, we'll have to install the Node.js. But in this tutorial, we are going to be focusing on the state management and the NGRX per se. If you want to know more about how to set up project and things like that, I have a separate video tutorial available from on this channel wherein you can just go in there and see, you know, how to set up the project from ground up. In this tutorial, I'm going to be focusing only around NGRX. So stay tuned and let's get rolling. So first of all, we will have to set up a project. Let's say the project name is going to be the N the students entry right so you write it down ng new we'll take a moment and then install things we are going to be using the scss all right so now we can see that the application has created a project already so let me quickly get inside the project folder so the application name is students entry and then let's just do the dir let's do the ls here the console let me the npm all right so now uh we are going to be installing the material as we had seen in the previous episode we are going to be creating an application with a login page and a landing page in order to create that application we will have to install the angular material because precisely i have used angular material in creating that application so let me quickly take you to the chrome browser and open up the documentation for angular material it takes a moment and then you can just open up this one and here in the angular material let's just quickly go to the get some getting started guide and see that uh, what are its recommendation so let's click on get started yeah so here in this case it says that we need to really need to run this particular command in order to install the angular material in our application so let's just copy this command particularly and go back to the terminal and we'll try to install this so here on the terminal just paste this and press enter it'll take a moment and then start installing the angular material all right so now it asks for the theme that we need to choose so in our case we are going to be using the deep purple and then press enter and it'll take a moment and install this particular library in our application in in our project all right so now it has installed the application properly and also installed the angular material next we are going to be adding the json server so let me quickly take you to chrome browser and in chrome browser we are going to be seeing what are the recommendations for installing the json server so json server is essentially needed to run the apis locally without having to create a backend so in this case we are going to be mocking the responses for our backend and then it's very easy to use json server and there are other tools available as well such as makun and then if you want to know anything more about the json server makun already or the other possible ways of creating or mocking the apis locally while you do the development for your ui there is a very detailed video available on my youtube channel and please go there and have a look at the detailed video and you would be enlightened to see and very happy to see like how things really work all right so now you can see that the application we have also installed the json server successfully let me clear the console and quickly take you back to the chrome browser and here the chrome browser the next thing that we are going to be installing is ngrx so let me open the official page for it uh, so ngrx and then here is the installation guide available for ngrx so i'm just going to be opening it just open for a moment and 
there you go so here's the command let me just copy this quickly and go back to terminal and here at the terminal i'm going to be installing the ngrx store so it'll take a moment and then install things here okay, let's just press enter all right so now it has installed the ngrx store as well so now can it, let me quickly take you to the vs code and run the basic application and by running the basic application we'll also see how it behaves on the browser and then we'll try to create each and every component of ours from ground up so all right so here is the vs code now let me quickly open the folder which i've recently created from the cli so let me click on the open and here at the open i'll have to go to the youtube and all right so now we can see that the application that we were trying to build has been boot up and let me quickly take you to the chrome browser and see if application renders properly on this on the on the browser or not so here's the local localhost 4200 and wait for a moment and there you go so now we can see that the application starts properly and all the installation has been successfully done so uh that's all in this tutorial ladies and gentlemen in the next tutorial onwards i'm going to be talking about a quick through i'll give you a quick walkthrough of all the files that are installed in our project and also start creating the components using the angular material ground up and also we will see that how to set up a state and we'll also talk about flux redux and other state management solutions available out there right so that's all for this tutorial ladies and gentlemen thanks a lot for listening in and if you have not really subscribed to my channel please don't forget to subscribe please please like the video and also do hit the bell icon in case if i create a new video tutorial you would be notified next time so thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i'll see you in the next one Thank you.